Gosh, I have been waiting here forever for Dr. Johnson. I wonder what is taking so long. He must be running behind today. It seems like this always happens on Fridays. It's okay, Dr. Johnson is worth the wait. He is a great doctor. He delivered my last baby. Okay, good to know. This is my first pregnancy and I'm kind of nervous. Oh, congratulations. How far along are you? About nine weeks. My due date is July 1st. What are you seeing Dr. Johnson for? Oh, how funny. I am due July 1st as well. Wait, you are pregnant? Seriously? Yes. Is that surprising? I am here to see Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson is an obstetrician. Obstetricians take care of pregnant women and deliver their babies. Well, yes, yes, I know that, but you said you already have a baby. Well, he's not much of a baby anymore. He really is a toddler now practically. He just turned one. Wait, you have a baby that just turned one, and you are having another baby. Don't you think that's unfair? Don't you worry that you won't be able to spend enough quality time with your kids? Don't you worry that your one-year-old will be jealous? Don't you worry that your body will fall apart since you are having two pregnancies close together? I have read what to expect when you're expecting, and they talk about how important it is to wait two years in between pregnancies or your uterus might explode. I have also taken many childhood development classes, and they discuss the importance of spacing your children at least three years apart, so that each child can feel like they are special, and get the quality time they deserve. Actually after my last pregnancy I feel like my body is in better shape than ever. I try to exercise and eat healthy and take vitamins. And I'm not worried that my one-year-old will be jealous of the baby. I am confident the new baby will fit right in with our family and all the children will get along just fine. Well I hope so for your sake you don't want your child to grow up to be a serial killer just because he was forced to share his toys with his sister because they are too close in age. I presume you and your husband make a very good income. You know that college tuition is getting very expensive, and you will have two kids in college at the same time. We make a decent income, yes. Thanks for your concern. So are you thrilled that you are going to have a baby girl? I so hope I have a girl. I will be extremely disappointed if I have a boy. I really want to have my child do beauty pageants and modeling, and girls are just so much more pretty and fun to dress up. That's very strange. Did I tell you I was having a girl? I don't believe I did. I am only nine weeks pregnant. We don't know the gender of the baby yet. Well no but you already have a boy. Well yes my last baby was a boy. Yes and if you have a girl then you will have a perfect family one boy and one girl. And what if I have another boy? Well then you are doomed to have an imperfect family. I, for one, could never have two boys. I will have one girl, and then one boy three years later, and then my family will be perfect and complete. Oh. Well it really doesn't matter to me if I have a boy or a girl. We will be thrilled either way. Besides, we already have three girls at home. What? So you have four children, please please tell me that they are your husband's children from a previous marriage or something. No, they are mine and my husband's. And we actually have five children. Three girls and two boys. This baby will be number six. Oh my that is practically child abuse are you trying to have as many children as the Duggars? Are you trying to be the next Octomum? Do you just want a reality show? Are you addicted to having babies? Do you need to be committed to an insane asylum? Do you realize the long-term effects of your irresponsible behavior on our environment? Do you know how many polar ice caps will melt because of your family? Don't you like polar bears? They are cute and cuddly how do you feel about the fact that your family is killing them off there will be no polar bears in a few years because of people like you i don't know how someone could be so irresponsible you are going to have your hands so full does your husband make three hundred thousand a year or something i sure hope he does and that you can hire a nanny and a housekeeper if i find out you are having all these little urchins while on welfare i think my head might explode no seriously it is going to explode I'm sorry, but I don't believe I asked your opinion. 
Just thinking about having that many kids makes my uterus hurt ouch ouch ouch. I love all of my children and I'm very grateful to be so blessed. I'm so glad I'm so unselfish and I'm only going to have two children one girl and then one boy they will have everything their little hearts desire and they won't grow up having a mother who is so psychologically defected that she keeps having babies to find her self-worth and I praise myself for being so responsible by only burdening our earth with two of my own children our world is already extremely overpopulated and you are extremely overopinionated. Do you not have a brain to mouth filter? Excuse me? What I mean is, didn't your mother ever teach you to keep your unkind thoughts to yourself? You are really overstepping your bounce here, especially considering I just met you five minutes ago. Excuse me, lady, are you talking to me? You are being so extremely rude. I cannot believe that the government allows a woman as rude as you to procreate. You will probably pass your rudeness on to your bajillion kids. I hope after this baby you and your husband are done having kids because this is really just too much. Actually, we hope to have at least six more. They are cheaper by the dozen, you know. Oh, you are a sick twisted woman you make me so sick pardon me while I throw up. Whatever. There's no use arguing with people who are so close-minded and judgmental. Just remember that my children will be paying your social security when you are old and decrepit. Have a beautiful day.